Hi everyone, this is Brad from BradPhillipsCGI.com. Uh, I have a video tutorial for you today inside of Adobe After Effects CS5. Uh, we will be going over color isolation, uh, like you see in the movie 300. Um, typically, uh, tutorials that I've seen um, show color isolation one way. Uh, they show it using uh, an effect un under color correction called leave color. Um, it's quick and, and in a lot of cases will get you to a, the, the desired effect. However, I'm going to be showing you a little bit more advanced way of doing things today um, that will enable you to have more control uh, with your final render. So, uh, for an example, uh, I'll turn off levels here and I'll turn this off. And this is what we started with. Uh, this was our original footage. And you can see that we adjusted some of the levels. And then finally, this is what it ended up looking like with a gray world and a, uh, all the reds popping still. So uh, just for a, a moving... Okay, so now that you understand what we are looking for, um, let's, uh, let's do it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new project. Okay, and then we need to bring in our footage. And we're going to drag our footage down to make a new comp. Okay, so that's our first step. Let's just scroll through here. Okay, so, first thing we need to do is duplicate this layer. I'm going to highlight it and hit Control-D to duplicate the layer. Then, um, we will actually be turning off this back layer to start. Fairly simple um, a way of doing it. We are going to add a color key, and we're going to be keying out the reds that we want to uh, keep on this top layer. So, we'll turn that up, maybe adjust the color. That looks pretty good, and we will try to get as much of that color as possible without grabbing much of anything else. And we got to make sure to turn our feather way up so that it'll smoothly transition between our desaturated film and our saturated film. So... Now that we have that, and we turn this bottom layer on, um, you can see what's going to be kept on the bottom layer. So, the next step is we can go to color correction, hue saturation, and crank down the saturation on this top layer. And you can see that it, we're getting a very cool effect here. We're definitely isolating out our reds. So, uh, the next thing we could do is make a new adjustment layer and adjust the levels to add a little bit more contrast. And maybe even to add some color back in. combination of blue and green minus the reds will kind of give us this real gray world feeling. Okay, um, now the cool thing about this is now my reds are on their own layer. My satur desaturated film is on its own layer. And then my final effects are on another layer altogether. I like doing it this way because like I said it gives you a lot more uh, control. See, now I can go down here, and I can add some levels to the reds, and adjust that.
and we can still go back in and adjust how it's masking. And you can see that we end with a very different and cool effect. You can see in this case, he really stands out. Now, this is a little bit over the top for example purposes. Um, the red is pretty hot. So I would typically uh, come in here and probably turn down the uh, brightness. as such. Now that's definitely a cool look. So um, I hope that you found this tutorial informative and you will find uh, many uses for this technique in the future. Um, and make sure to come back and check out new tutorials. If you like this one please leave a comment and uh, let me know. Uh, your comments will drive more and new better tutorials to come out. Um, so thanks again. This has been Brad Phillips from BradPhillipsCGI.com and that is all.